Dark tragedies found in Roblox. You may think they're just games, but a lot of them are based off of horrifying incidents. From a bridge collapsing due to strong winds, to a train that crashed through a second story building, I'm going to take a look at different tragedies to see how accurate they are to the real incident as well as what caused such an event. So the first game is the Province Bridge Collapse, which is actually based off of the Takuma Bridge, and uh, it actually collapsed into the ocean due to heavy wind storms. So uh, let's go ahead and join the game and see what exactly happened. Alright, so there's, uh, there's a lot of cars right here here okay I mean, it is thundering right now so is the wind blowing right now oh yeah okay the cables are starting to rock so is it gonna collapse soon or what's happening here oh Oh yeah, it collapsed. Oh jeez. <laughs> That's pretty scary. So let's see that again. It is due to the strong winds, but uh, was it actually that strong to like destroy an entire bridge? Yeah, look, there it goes again. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, let's take a look at the real video then. So, yeah, the Takuma Bridge collapsed. It was known as the wobbliest bridge in the world, okay? This was in the 1940s. Oh, wow, that's uh, that's really wobbly. <laughs> Jeez, this is actually real? Oh, man, that's scary. Yeah, look at that shake. I mean, I'm glad that there's only, like, one car there, but, uh, yeah, that's still scary. Was there anybody in there? Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's it's breaking down now. The suspension cables give way and plunge into the water below. Fortunately, the only Ooh. casualties were a car stalled on the bridge and a dog. A dog? Oh no. Okay, well, let's read more about it then. All right, so here's an image of the bridge on opening day, and it collapsed on the same year of it opening. The bridge's main span finally collapsed in a 40 mile per hour winds on the morning of November 7th. That must have been uh, pretty strong, actually. I mean, thankfully, there's no humans actually hurt, but uh, unfortunately, the dog was too terrified to leave the car and bit one of the rescuers. So yeah, when the bridge fell, so did the car. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty sad. Now, what I also found pretty interesting about this bridge is that the movie Final Destination 5 actually made a reference to the tragedy with uh, their own tragic event here in the movie. So yeah, it's pretty much the, the entire bridge falling, but this time with uh, a lot of cars and people, and this is also due to like strong winds. Even the paint is the same as the Takuma Bridge. Yeah, on the wiki here it says, the collapse itself is loosely based on the collapse of the Takuma Narrows Bridge in 1940. Alright, but the next tragedy I found on Roblox is this one right here. It's uh, the Montparnasse derailment. I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right, but uh, it's on Roblox and it's dubbed the Hugo train crash because apparently the train crash is also in the movie. But uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at it. Oh, oh what's happening? <laughs> Oh, jeez, it, it, it just crashed. Is this on the second floor? Dude, that's pretty scary. What the heck? <laughs> this actually happened? This is actually real? Dude, imagine just being here in the bottom and having the train crash onto you. Was anybody hurt? So we got like a bacon head freaking out right here. Then we've got this going on. So yeah, like I said, the train crash is at the movie Hugo. So let's see what happens here. It looks like they're uh, they're speeding through and I guess they're on the second floor. And then what happens? How do, how do they get derailed here? Okay, so it looks like they're trying to break at this moment. Moment, but uh, I guess it's not enough. Wait, did it just go over the station? Now it's uh, it's hitting a lot of different things. <laughs> so far, nobody was hurt. That that's good, right? And then yeah, it crashes, leading to the outside. And apparently, the movie was pretty accurate to the actual situation because uh, here's an actual image of the crash itself. Yeah, so this occurred in 1895 in Paris, and apparently the train was several minutes late, and the driver was trying to make up for lost time. It approached the station too fast, and the driver's application of the train air brake was ineffective. So yeah, it caused the train to run through the buffer stop. The train crossed. The the station concourse and crashed through the station wall. And yeah, that's when this image happens here. Although the passengers survived, wow, that's pretty impressive. A woman in the street below was killed by falling masonry. Oh no. So was someone that wasn't even on the train, just a passerby? That's unfortunate. Apparently there's 131 passengers in there. Again, they all survived though, with only six being injured. The driver was sentenced to two months in prison. Wait, only two months for that? All right, but next we have an even more tragic train crash, and that's the Clapham Junction train collision. I I hope I said that right. And this happened in 1988. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at this. All right, what do we got here? We've got a train that. Oh, 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 ow. <laughs> what the heck happened here? All right, a lot happened. So there's a train under the bridge right there, and then there's another one coming towards it. It crashes. Okay. Or well, there's another train. Oh, it's on the opposite side. But due to this train wreck, it also crashes. 
Okay. Wow, so three train crashes. Okay. I didn't think it was actually possible. All right, let's look at the animation here. Okay, so is the train going under the bridge? Uh-huh. And then it, what, just stops? And then I guess that causes the other train to crash into it. But then apparently there's like a third train that comes in. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, jeez. I mean, it didn't look like it received too much damage. Oh, never mind. That looks like a lot of damage. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's a lot of carts that were affected. Okay, so what exactly happened here? So this was in London, England. So a crowded passenger train crashed into the rear of another train that had stopped at a signal. Okay, so that was the first one. And then it subsequently sideswept an empty train traveling in the opposite direction. Okay, well, glad that it was empty at least. There's a total of 35 fatalities along with 484 total injuries. Four trains. Wait, there was four trains in this incident? The driver of a fourth train coasting with no traction current saw the other trains and managed to come to a stop. Okay, that's good. Man, three trains crashing at once is pretty intense. Is that the most train crashes all at once? Oh yeah, the next tragedy is this one here, the Costa Concordia. So there's like a giant cruise ship that I guess at one point had sunk into the ocean. Let's see what happened. Ooh, is this it? Okay, it's pretty big. Ooh, we can actually see the inside. That's pretty cool. Let's see, it's already turning sideways. Uh-oh. Oh no, the water is seeping in. We gotta, we gotta escape. Come on. And to think, this place was probably like really crowded with people too. Oh no, the water's just filling up more and more. We gotta go to a higher floor. All right, we did it. We're in the front of the cruise ship. Oh jeez, this is the uh, the dark ocean. Anybody here have thassophobia? All right, so this is dropping. Let's get out of here. Wait, is this like a submarine? Oh, okay. <laughs> thought we were gonna like sink down. I would've freaked out. All right, so we're cool. We're cool inside this little place. Oh no, the piano's getting all soaked. Oh man, I'm getting dizzy with how lopsided this whole place is. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. It's turning, it's turning. So was this really like in the middle of nowhere? Here, let's take a look. So there's this video here, the story of Costa Concordia. So it happened in the year 2012 when the family cruise ship collided with rocks and sank off the coast of Italy. Wait, this is like the captain here talking? The passengers are making their way to the life boats proceed to your muster station please put on your life jackets okay oh man that must have been frightening and this is actually like videos of the incident oh wow that's the inside of the ship oh man that's huge all right so then it like crashes into some rocks and that causes it to sink okay so the roblox game wasn't too accurate it didn't really show like an island nearby panic ensued in the main dining rooms where passengers had been eating as the ship's emergency generators kicked in and as passengers climbed into lifeboats themselves finally at 10 35 pm the bridge calls for an abandoned ship and the emergency alarm is sounded there are currently 4,229 people aboard the coast. 4,000 people in there? Oh, so this is how the ship looked like after the crash. As a result of the capsizing, 32 people have been killed. Okay, yeah, so it fell lopsided, but it didn't actually sink. I think because it was like close to land and all that. Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's a big gash in the ship. Jeez. <laughs> so yeah, here's the cruise ship, and uh, apparently it cost $450 million to make, and the captain was sentenced to 16 years in prison. And there's actually a more accurate version of the incident. There's uh, this one here, the Costa Concordia Showcase. And it can actually show you like a wider scale on how big this cruise ship actually was. There's the giant cruise ship. Jeez, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty massive actually. And we're not even close to the thing. Dude, look how huge that thing is. But yeah, if there's other tragedies you want me to cover, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.